Hi, my name is Rowena. I'm from Philippines. I'm living here in UAE since December 2012. I heard about Mazus from the day it was started from a friend. And since then, I participated until now. Every week, I take three lines. I have my maintaining number and sometimes I do random pick. Before Christmas Eve, I was preparing for foods and I invited my friends here. And then after that, when they left, one of my colleagues called me around 10 o'clock. He was saying like, Rowena, you check. I think you won in Mazus. I was like, oh, Kuya, you're just kidding me. So she said, no, 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 just check. So I checked the apps. And when I checked the number, I said, oh, this is not my number. How come I won? But when I opened my email, I got this first email coming from Mazus that I won. So when I checked, I was so shocked that I won this 100,000. I feel like I'm floating. I can't understand the feeling that I don't know that if this is for real, I can't explain. So I just cried and you know, this is the best gift I ever had. It's a very Merry Christmas for me and for my son. When I found out that I won the Mazus, I first called my mom from the Philippines around 2.30 in the Philippines when I called her. She was um, shocked and get nervous why I call. And then I told her like, Ma, I want this mazus. Then she was really, she was also shocked and she was very happy for me. This 100,000 dirhams will have a very big impact for me and for my family. It's a very big help for me that I have a strong backup for my kid in the future. First, I will look for a educational insurance for my son. I will keep also for us to travel somewhere. And the rest, I will give some for charity in Cebu, where I came from. Definitely, I will participate again. Because now that I won this 100,000 dirhams, I'm eager to get the grand prize. 10 million dirhams, can you imagine? <laughs> My message to everyone is just keep trying, keep on participating, Mazus, and one day, who knows, you will be the one to be interviewed here.